Hello, this is Daniel Daly. This is a Noahide sermon. The Noahide covenant establishes continuity of life on planet Earth. The Noahide covenant establishes continuity of life on planet Earth. Okay. Now, it's essentially the promise that he won't really judge the Earth again, is what he's really saying. He's not going to bring another flood. So it's not going to wipe out mankind like that again. Now, in the fullness of things, there might be some sort of judgment day, but it will not be anything approaching the, the way of the judgment that was at the time of the flood. That's the whole point of the covenant. It's, it's not really just saying there won't be a flood again. It's saying there won't be a flood, but it's really saying, it's pointless saying there won't be a flood if it's not a protection from floods and things like that, if you know what I mean. It's a rather pointless covenant then. If it's not a protection from the destruction of mankind as a covenant, and just because he's not doing a flood, or you know, fire, typhoon, uh, typhoons, or all sorts of things he might do alternatively, Christianity and Judaism rattles on about that idea, of the destruction of the world at the end of days, but probably not. The whole point of the Noahide Covenant's promises is generally probably the implication that mankind will just endure, that the world will just endure, that the world will just go on like this eternally. That's probably the, the whole point of what he's really saying with the Noahide Covenant. S specifically, it's saying no flood. But what he's really driving at is that life on Earth will go on like this forever that the endurance of life will go on forever that's what god's most likely driving at with the noahide covenant continuity of life on earth